this is Carl of Amazing Wizard Studios. I want to tell you something. You, you guys might be wondering about what happened to the gameplay walkthroughs on Mario Super Slugs on the Wii and Need for Speed High Stakes on both the PC and PlayStation. I'll tell you. It's because I lost interest in these three games for various reasons. I mean, reasons. For Mario Super Sluggers, it's be because I began to get tired of my Wii. Especially after having completed Mario Kart Wii last November, I know. The I haven't uploaded all the parts on this one yet, but I'll start soon. For Need for Speed High Stakes on the PlayStation, it's because... Because I didn't know what to do. For future recordings on, on this version of the game. For Need for Speed High Stakes on the PC, it's because... I had a couple of fails when I was recording the second part of the walkthrough. And the first fail, I mean the first time around, my Elgato game capture issue 60, which is what I used for recording the gameplay in this gameplay walkthrough, disconnected due to a faulty USB cable. I know that was a, something I had trouble with for a while until I realized that the, a solution, the solution would be another USB cable. And then the second time around, an anti-malware pop-up appeared in the middle of the recording and Since the game was played in full screen, I couldn't close the pop-up without exiting the whole game. Also, the laptop I was I used to record the first part of that walkthrough has m mediocre specs. In fact, that's just six gigs of RAM, and its pro AMD processor isn't that powerful. I know, I know, but don't worry. I'll start recording gameplay videos on these three games again soon, I promise. For the gameplay walkthrough on Need for Speed High 6 on the PC, I'm just gonna need a more powerful laptop, like a gaming laptop. As far as the one on Mars Super Sluggers on the Wii, that will be once I, once I'm interested enough in playing on my Wii again. And the same goes for the one on Need for Speed High Stakes on the PlayStation. At this point, I recorded 10 parts of the gameplay walkthrough on Need for High Stakes on the PS1. And the intro was included in part one. Yeah. However, for... This one, that Show, show the credits will be in a separate part, just like the one on Brown 2 Point of Impact for the GameCube. By the way, those 10 points I record were via composite video. And on the afternoon of July 27th, I got a home and analog video adapter for the original model 
Elgato Game Capture HD. And that's exactly what I needed to record gameplay by S video. Yeah. I have that specific capture card myself. And I was like, why didn't I, why couldn't I get that adapter s sooner? I know. By the way, what I'm deciding will be, on will be an update on the gameplay walkthrough Need for Speed High Stakes on the PS1. And that will be, that from, Part 11 onwards, I'll be recording via S video because it provides superior picture quality over composite video. Yep. I'll be back to show you what I'm talking about. Yep, this is my original model Elgato Game Capture HD. Yeah. And over here is the AV input, which is where you will connect a console to this thing via an analog video connection, whether it's component, compositor, as video. Over here is my analog video adapter. Yep, this is a homemade one made by a man in the UK and shipped to me. Yep. This is the four connectors. This is S video. This is left audio. This is right audio. And finally, this is composite. Yep. So here's the, and this is the adapter I'll be using for the rest of the gameplay walkthrough on New Street High Stakes and the PS1. Because I decided that I'm no longer going to be recording in composite unless I absolutely have to. Like if I was playing Super Mario Bros. on my Nintendo Entertainment System. Yeah. Alright, don't forget to like this video, hit the subscribe button, and comment for future content. Also, don't forget to follow Amazing Wizard Studios on social media. This is Carl of Amazing Wizard Studios heading out. Peace.